Wednesday, the fast food giant Wendy's became the sixth corporation to publicly cut ties with the secretive right wing American Legislative Exchange Council, or ALEC. ALEC has come under fire for backing a number of controversial measures, including the so called Stand Your Ground gun legislation in Florida. We're joined by Lisa Graves, executive director of the Center for Media and Democracy, which runs ALEC Exposed website. By the way, we invited ALEC to join us on the program, but the group didn't respond to our phone calls and email. Lisa Graves did. She's flown from Ithaca to Madison, Wisconsin, where the Center for Media and Democracy is based. Lisa, tell us more about what ALEC is and this rush of corporations, as well as the Gates Foundation, away from ALEC. Well, the American Legislative Exchange Council describes itself as the largest group of state legislators in the country, but it's really a group that's largely funded by corporations, CEO foundations, and others. And it's a group that actually puts lawmakers, state lawmakers, behind closed doors with corporate lobbyists and special interest groups to actually vote on so-called model legislation like the Stand Your Ground or Shoot First Law uh, and have that be a template for passing across the country. And so as this uh, tragedy has unfolded, a number of corporations that uh, have been funders of ALEC and in fact been leaders of ALEC in the case of Coca-Cola and, and others have determined that they are not going to renew their membership. We certainly applaud the corporations that have decided to leave ALEC and stop bankrolling their operations. The Omaha TV station KMTV recently exposed how Nebraska's voter ID bill was based on a template written by ALEC. Reporter Liz Dorland questioned Nebraska State Senator Charlie Jansen about his bill. I was looking at your bill and kind of comparing it to Iowa's bill, and there's a lot of similarities in the language there. Um, can you talk a little bit about those points? I really didn't use Iowa's bill uh, to draft my bill. I used Indiana's bill originally. Indiana's bill? Again, every single point, down to an exception for nursing homes and a Monday deadline for bringing in your late ID. Every single point matches the ALEC template. Indiana's is very similar to this model draft that ALEC, ALEC exposed says that this is the model draft for voter ID bills for a lot of these states across the entire nation. Do you know about ALEC? You know what? Uh, the first time I've talked about ALEC in two years today is when you inquired about it. Um, I'm not a member of ALEC. I've never attended an ALEC uh, function, um, either, either here in Lincoln or they have national conventions. Then I hand him this, a document that still lists the senator on a big ALEC committee. Yeah, my first year down here, I was uh, I signed up for ALEC and then I, I let my dues lapse. So I asked him to explain why his bill is remarkably similar to ALEC's model bill. And so your bill is not similar to this. Have you seen that? No, I would have no idea. I don't look at any ALEC materials. But we did and the match is hard to ignore. That's KMTV reporter Liz Dorland, an excerpt of her report on Nebraska's uh, voter ID law. Talk about the relationship between the corporate executives and the legislators in writing this kind of legislation, Lisa Graves. Well, this particular bill, the, the so-called voter ID legislation that makes it more difficult for Americans to vote, was actually approved at a secret closed-door ALEC meeting of the, criminal, of the Public Safety and Elections Task Force that was at that time co-chaired by the NRA, the National Rifle Association. What ALEC does is it provides a way for corporate lobbyists and politicians to meet at resorts across the country, have closed-door meetings without the press or the public present to consider uh, proposed bills like this to consider copycat legislation that basically would take would be taken across the country and we've seen ALEC which is really a corporate bill mill push legislation on all sorts of issues to make it harder for Americans to get justice.